Hey guys, Boost Caboose here. Today we're going to be bringing you a, the first episode of what I plan to make an incredible series uh, of Pokemon Go. Now, Pokemon Go came out last Wednesday and has already got, uh, garnered over, you know, I think last time I checked it was like 10 million downloads in a week. Um, now, this game is actually so much fun. Oh, there's a Gloom nearby. Cool. Okay. Um, it's not very often that you see Glooms in the wild. I actually have had one. Um, but then I realized you could catch him in the wild, so I traded in poor Orlando. Yeah, I didn't my, my Gloom Orlando. He's Orlando Gloom. But, um, anywho, I'm just going to pick up my fiancé right now, but, uh, thought I'd bring you guys a little bit of a, a playthrough here. See, just, uh, grab Pokestops. I uh, can't too far. Um, I actually got a Google Play card today, so I was able to purchase, um, a massive fucking amount of Pokeballs. I'm up to like two something now. Uh, bought bag upgrades. I should have gotten more egg incubators, but I'm over it. Um, I do actually have to hatch an egg. Um, hopefully I'll hatch it during an episode. Um, it's unlikely that I will, but if I do, you guys will be there to see it. Uh, now I love checking the, the nearby tab while I'm driving to see all the fun fucking Pokemon I'm missing. Yeah. Um, but no. Like I said, just wanted to bring you guys a Pokemon Go episode, uh, in case you haven't played it, show you what it's about, or if you have played it, you know, you can kind of relate to my adventures of playing while driving, which is actually illegal, I don't condone that, but, uh, you know, if you do, it's not a big deal. What is that? Oh, it's a wee bit about! Ah! Is it stronger than the one I already have? Hell no. Okay, alright. Uh, I have two raspberries, so we'll go ahead and feed it a raspberry, make it a little easier for us to catch. And then, what was it? Damn it. Alright, got a nice throw, okay? Uh, I love Pokemon. At least go anyway, for the sheer fact that it's literally whip this tiny ball at these creatures, hit them in their fucking face, and then capture them and make them your fucking slave. Uh, or in this case, since this one's not as strong as my other one, I'm gonna trade it into the professor for bell sprout candy. Because my other one's like, I want to say a three-something? Let's check out my other bell sprout, shall we, folks? No. Okay, my weeping bell is 652. So that means my, uh... My victory bell should be close to a thousand once I evolve it. Um, still working on getting my Magikarp candies for my Gyarados. Um, but no, we're just kind of driving here, showing you guys all some of the features. Uh, for example, let's see how far my eggs have until they hatch. Okay, so 0.6 kilometers, I should be able to have that done in no time. Um, these, are my, these are some of my best Pokemon. My Pidgeot, 927, 869 Hypno, 790, you guys can see it. Uh, my Pidgeot's actually still holding down a gym, which is impressive. Um, I'm actually pretty sure that's the one I left at a cemetery not far from here. Um, and I was a little nervous about leaving a high-level Pokemon at it, just because this particular gym, uh, like I said, isn't a cemetery. Um, for one, I'm not going to be able to check it for that reason. Um, and two, it's about half an hour south of me, so I don't have the capability to go and check it and retake it if I have to. Um, but it's been holding strong for a good three days now. Put it there Friday, I think. Yeah, I left it there Friday. It's sa it's Sunday, so it's only been two days. Um, but still, that's the longest any of my Pokemon have ever held a place at a gym. Now, we're going to wait here for a second. Uh, this gym is run blue team. This was actually yellow team when I came by earlier today. Uh, oh wow, a 10:13 Nido King. I'm going to need massive amounts of backup for this. This is this is a well-held gym, my friends. Um, not a lot of Pokestops out here. I live in a very uh, it's like a populated sort of area, but it, a lot of it's very rural. Uh, like I said, I live in Central Illinois, uh, just 45 minutes south of Chicago. So I don't really get a chance to uh, hit all the Pokestops. So my friends are actually up at the, the first ever Pokemon Go meetup uh, at Millennium Park today. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there. Um, I wish I could have been, but you know, I'm still bringing you guys a video regardless. Um, nothing good's popping up so far. Kind of upset about this. You know, I just wanted to catch a fucking Pikachu. You know. Pikachu's actually fucking adorable, you guys. Like, I fucking love this little shithead. Alright, like, let me show you my Pikachu. 
I named it after my girlfriend because she can do a really cute Pikachu noise. Just, just listen to this little shit. It's probably really quiet, but... He makes his actual noise, and that's something they started in X and Y, where uh, when you get a Pikachu, it actually makes its original... You know, it says its actual name instead of just the weird noises that you get with, like, other Pokemon. For example, Hypno. You know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> but, uh... <coughs> Please excuse me while I die, folks. Fuck, now. But no, we're, uh, we're just cruising. Hopefully a Pokemon will show up while I'm sitting at this stoplight. This is one of, like, the longest stoplights that I actually have to sit at from time to time. So, hopefully something will show up and I can show you guys another catch. Oh my Jesus Christ, I don't have a seal yet. I'm so happy right now. Oh, it's a 465. Oh my God. You guys... This is legit, okay? Like, I don't have a fucking seal yet. I just hope my game doesn't freeze. Hope my game doesn't freeze. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Sorry about that digging. I forgot to put on Do Not Disturb mode before I started recording today. But, we just caught ourselves a seal, so that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I don't have one yet. But 465, holy hell. Wow, okay, awesome. So I just got my first seal, guys, um, which is pretty neat. Um, I d I'm actually doing pretty well for myself, I would say. Uh, let's check the Pokedex to see how many Pokemon I've seen, how many I've caught. I've seen 71, caught 68, which means there's only three Pokemon that I've seen but I haven't caught. Looks like Vulpix, Growlithe, and Abra. Um, and I actually did see the Growlithe. I was so mad. I was driving. It popped up. I got into battle, but my game froze. And by the time the game got reloaded, I had gone and done so much shit at, the, at that point that it was like, well, I'm too far to turn around. I don't feel like turning around. So I'm out of Growlithe. The Vulpix, me and my buddy were driving, and we pulled into a gas station to kind of restart our game so they could, you know, reload our GPS location. Sure as shit, the Vulpix shows up. And, uh, we, we both wasted all our, uh, great balls and, like, 25 Pokeballs apiece before that little shit ran. And then the Abras, Abras are always difficult to catch, uh, but it was the same thing was with the Growlithe. Uh, my game froze after I caught it, and it just got away. So, but yeah, you can see there's another gym there. Uh, let's see what's at this one, shall we? Let's see what we're up against. 969. This is actually less. This is more Pokemon than when I came by earlier today. This is a hell of a fucking fight. Okay, because the lowest is a 969. My highest is a 927. That's math. No, I'm um, actually figured I'd tell you guys a quick story. We were actually out um, a while ago hunting Pokemon, and we realized that the lures work depending on what's close to you. We, I don't know why we didn't think of that, but uh, we went to, out to uh, downtown Plainfield, which is uh, a city 20 minutes north of me, not even, not even that. Um, and they have like this big waterfront area that you can go sit at, and they've got some memorials there, which means there's Pokestops, um, and they have an amphitheater there. And if you sit under the amphitheater, you are literally in range of three Pokestops without even having to move. So we sat there, People were there were other people there throwing lures down, and that's what I love about this game. This game is bringing people closer together and getting people out at, granted it was two in the morning, and we were just out in an amphitheater in the middle of a fucking, like, lakefront area, going, oh yeah, cool, no, yeah, I'll throw in a lure, yeah, there you go, okay, all right, and fucking Psyducks are showing up because it's right by the water. Um, there was another time we went down to downtown Joliet, I live in Joliet, Illinois, um, and if you guys ever get the chance to come here, we have beautiful architecture in our downtown area, like, I love going downtown. Um, fucking Weedle. But, um, the other thing, too, is that we were down at, uh, jo in Joliet at Bicentennial Park, which is also a waterfront area with a lot of memorials, and we were sitting there throwing down our lures, and I got almost 50 Magikarp candies now, uh, and you need 400 to get Gyarados, so I only need... 350 more Magikarp candies, which is a little over a hundred or so Magikarp that I have to catch. So, 
Unless I transfer them, then it's like a hundred. Now it's... I'm not doing math right now. That's math. Fuck that. But, uh, this guy is, uh, as you can see, the nearby isn't really very varied. Um, just because I've caught most of these for one and two. There's really not a lot out here. Um, you know, people are saying that in Chicago you can catch, like, fucking full-on Nito Kings. Uh, and I have a Nito Reno, but it takes a hundred to evolve Nito Reno into Nito King. And, uh, Nito King is actually one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. So... We'll see where that goes. Hopefully, I'll get you guys an episode from the city soon. But uh, as always, this is Boost Caboose signing off. Thanks, guys.